I am giving you five facts about 5G in five minutes, one fact per minute. Let's go, editor. Start the countdown for fact one in three, two, one. Basically, 5G is the next evolution of mobile data, like 3G and 4G before it, but just better, stronger, faster, taller, all the things Kanye said in the song, okay? That's 5G. Now, yes, of course, 5G is faster, but the big win with 5G is that it allows for more capacity. So each singular tower in your neighborhood and city will be able to handle more cell phone signals, but that means more people with a stronger signal, better data, and overall a better experience with their cell phone. No more dropped calls, no more taking forever for your Instagram to load, that's that. Fact number two, how fast is 5G? And that's a complicated question, so I'm gonna talk fast. There are three different types of 5G, basically a slow, fast, and faster. On the slow end, we're looking at similar to 4G speeds, about 100 to 150 Mbps. That's called low band. It's slow, but it stretches really far. Now let's move up to the fast category, mid band or C band that's being rolled out right now. C band is six to eight times faster than 4G and the slow 5G. So we're looking at five 800 to 800 Mbps speeds. That signal doesn't travel as far as the nationwide low band, but it is a lot quicker. Now we are to the fastest 5G, which is millimeter wave, ultra wideband, 5G plus, depending on what carrier you're on. And those speeds can get you up to 800 to 2000 Mbps. And that's my time. God, I need to, I need to add a little bit more onto that. Basically that millimeter wave is in very select areas in really dense places big cities and arenas. Let's move on to fact number three. Who has the fastest 5G? Well, that's a tough question. If we're looking at one-off speeds, then Verizon blows every other carrier out of the water. They have one-off speed tests up to 3000 Mbps that I've seen. I haven't tested those, but I have seen those. But if we wanna look at an average, who is consistently the best and the fastest? T-Mobile wins there. T-Mobile gets an average of 187 down. Verizon comes in second with 78 Mbps and AT&T comes in last with 68 Mbps for their 5G. This likely means that most people are on low band 5G right now, which means these average speeds are not very fast. Now in the next year or two, we will start to see faster averages. More 5G is going to be rolled out in that mid band and millimeter wave category, and that will up the overall speed test across the board. Fact number four, where is 5G? How can you use it? Yeah, it's nice in theory, it's fast, it'll open up more bandwidth, but <laughs> how prevalent is it and where can you find it? And that's where this is tough because the carriers are fairly secretive about where they have 5G. They have general areas mapped out, but they don't have like exact city blocks for the most part or exact percentages. We have looked into it and Whistleout has found that T-Mobile has the most 5G with 61% coverage. Again, mostly low band nationwide. AT&T comes next with 48% coverage and Verizon comes in last with 36% coverage across the United States. We are able to take some zip codes that we know have 5G and we're able to calculate basically how we got those numbers. If you wanna learn more about 5G coverage, you can check out our videos and website up here to see if you have coverage in your area. You can look at our 5G coverage maps. Fact number four five in the last minute, will 5G take over home internet? This is a fun one that could be its own video, but I'm gonna quickly discuss it now. Basically, besides faster cell phone signals, 5G has the capability and the ability to be installed in home, giving you super fast 5G speeds, theoretically. Now, a few carriers are running this program right now. Verizon has a fixed 5G wireless home internet package that you can buy and so does T-Mobile. Those speeds can get you up to 300 or more Mbps for really, really cheap. Fixed wireless internet can't fully compete with really great cable or fiber speeds, but it will allow more people to have accessibility to faster speeds than crappy cable and dial up. So yes, fixed wireless home internet is coming. It's gonna be cheap and it's gonna be fast. So I am very excited to see where all of these new programs and installations take customers in the next year and a half. Okay, that's it. That's your five 5G facts in five-ish minutes. I think I got pretty darn close. Thanks for watching. If you wanna learn more from Whistleout, we are on all of the social media platforms and we're here, obviously. So subscribe if you'd like and check out our website up here and in the description. I'm Sherry Riggs, your telecom expert. Thanks for watching. Ooh, social media.